Hey, what's up guys? Are you craving for some desserts? Cause today I'm gonna show you how to make some chocolate crinkles. So first thing we have to melt our chocolates so make sure the water is boiling but not touching the bowl itself okay <laughs> okay so while we're waiting for our chocolate to melt we have to sieve our flour one cup of flour one teaspoon of baking powder and like a pinch of salt. So, save it. And then, on the other bowl, we will mix our cocoa powder, one uh, half cup of uh, chocolate, sorry. <laughs> and then some white sugar. Grab a whisk. Gently mix a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna use um, a stand mixer, but actually you can use it. Uh, I mean, you can mix it manually, like using a wooden spoon or a spatula. But now, just to make our life easier, I'm gonna use the stand mixer. Okay. So using a stand mixer, you have to use this um, paddle. Okay, so my chocolate is um, actually melted. I'm gonna put it on the dry ingredients. Okay. And now we can add our all of our um, wet ingredients. Vanilla extract or any vanilla. And then we're going to crack some eggs. One egg at a time. And then lastly, we add our vegetable oil, slowly. Now we can turn the, the speed a little bit high. Okay, turn it down, open, and add generously our flour. A little bit first. And then we can add all of our flour. to transfer it in a bowl and you can forget it for about four hours we have to rest it in the fridge usually some people do um rest it overnight just to give a good cool down or setting it like in a real really good um set of dough <laughs> mix it's already molded and set just make sure you um, cool it for about four hours otherwise you're gonna have some you know trouble molding your mix so first we have icing sugar just drizzle drizzle it on a bowl okay so always make sure your hands are clean because you're going to do it with molding the dough, okay? Now, molding this 
will be a bit messy and it will somehow stick it stick on your palm and or hands so i've got here a um, <laughs> oil not too much generously rub it in your hands and for the size of your cookies um it's really up to you guys so look at that so something like this then the trick in molding these cookies so while you mold it not too much roll it in the icing sugar okay and then put it on the tray then press it a little bit not too much just a little bit and the dough is really soft and dealing with these cookies are really fragile so just be careful and be gentle okay so roll it and then have at least two centimeters of gap with each other so yeah major but that's fine because you know baking is a messy messy method of cooking so not really messy but you know so you have to be quick in molding your crinkles because otherwise you're just gonna you know the temperature of your dough is gonna drop don't rush yourself just you know confidently mold it roll it and press it okay all right okay so straight into the oven So let's have a try, guys. Mm. The texture is perfect. I really like it. 